Hey, everybody, Ann here. Oh, I got to tell you, it has been precipitating for a long, long time, and now it's snowing. Yeah, it's been snowing for about an hour, so I got to go out and do the first round of clearing snow. Yep, got to get these steps first, but look at all that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got to go clean it up, dust things off, get snow off of tarps. <sighs> It's pretty, but I got to tell you, I'm kind of over this snow already. Well, how long do you think it's going to take? It's a little after 10 right now, and it's supposed to keep snowing until 1, so... Oh, no, I think I'm going to be out here a couple more times. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Puppies don't seem to mind it at all. They don't like the rain, though. Yeah, so I've already done chicken chores for the first time today. All chickens are doing well. They're all in their coops. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen, but... <sighs> Alright, time to get this all shook off. Oh my goodness, this is the Easter egg pen. Yeah, it is totally destroyed, so... The Easter eggers are inside their little run. Um, I didn't see any harm in letting that happen. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a big job tomorrow coming out here and fixing all this. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Completely destroyed. It's just on the ground. You know what? I'm not going to even bother um, before I let them out in the yard. Sometime tomorrow, I'm just going to have to come over here and fix it all. Luckily I've got a little bit of deer netting left so oh my goodness. Well I got the tarps cleaned off, shook some snow off of here, got those cleaned off but I know I'm gonna have to come out here and do it again. If I don't it's just gonna destroy everything like that tarp. I'm just letting it stay down. Um, <laughs> this is such a drag but all the chickens are doing just fine. Yeah there's mama. There's Patsy and Roxy's in the back. They've got plenty of food and water. Yeah, might as well dust off the truck. In case something happens and I have to go somewhere in emergency, the last thing I'm going to be wanting to do is doing what I'm doing right now. Luckily, it's all still pretty powdery. If you get it off before it packs, you'll be doing yourself a favor. Man, I can't believe. And this has accumulated since about 8 a.m. It was coming down pretty gosh darn hard. Oh, it is disheartening, but it's part of life. Oh my gosh. But look at those pretty trees. At least there's that. Man, oh man. I sure wish I could enjoy this, but... It just represents a lot more work to me. That's okay. I'll make it. Oh, I got to show you something. I found this yesterday. Here, let me show you the clip. Look at that. You guys, I was splitting some wood, and this is that really soft kind of wood. I think it may be pine. Um, it burns really, really fast. I don't really like burning it. But look at that. So yesterday, I saw some kind of like weird white stuff on it all over the place and it looked like there were some little buds that were sticking out of the log so I went ahead and soaked it and sure enough I got me a couple oyster mushrooms growing makes me feel kind of bad I've been burning this I can't estimate how many more of these logs had uh, you know like the mycelium growing in it so I'm gonna keep this one kind of wet and see if it gives me more and if these get any bigger and I'm gonna go check my wood pile and see if I've got any more of this that has kind of like weird white stuff in it. I don't know. Then I'm growing my own oyster mushrooms. It's changed to kind of like a icy, snowy whatever. And yep, everything is covered up again. I'm going to have to go out again. But it's supposed to stop precipitating around 12.30, 1 p.m. So uh, it's futile for me to try and go out there again right now. So I'm just going to let it let it run its course and then go dust things off again and then hopefully tomorrow I don't even know what the weather's going to be like tomorrow but 
Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get out there and fix those runs so those chickens can get out of their coops, those poor things. Anyhow, uh, I'm hungry. I've got a beautiful fire going, and this is lunch and dinner. It is basically just a chicken stew. I've got some chicken in there. I've got, well, I had some leftover seafood, uh, fake crab, you know, that stuff. Uh, I figured I'd just throw it in there. Got a couple chicken bouillon cubes in there, some macaroni. Um, I put some of my delicious homemade sauerkraut in it, and this sauerkraut turned out so good. And so it had carrots in it, too. It's going to make it really, really delicious. Mm. My mouth is watering right now. All the vegetables you see besides the um, sauerkraut are dehydrated. So I've got some dehydrated um, green beans. There's some dehydrated sweet potatoes in there, some peas, some sweet corn. So, yeah, this is just kind of like a chicken stew Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? That is a thing of beauty, isn't it? I'm sorry it's so dark, but it's dark in here, and I'm not turning on any lights. I got plenty of wood, plenty of wood, a beautiful pot of tea going, and a lovely chicken stew. And I pull it to the end of the stove there because um, the stew is basically done, and I don't want to overcook it. And I'm going to eat some here in a minute. Um, and it's, uh, it's a little bit cooler at that part of the stove. It's cold, but all the chickens are up in their coops. So I'm feeling pretty happy. The stew gets a big thumbs up. It's delicious. I've got plenty more left over. I may even give some to the puppies because I didn't put any garlic or onion or any of that kind of stuff that I normally like to put in it. So, yeah, the rest of the day I'm just going to kind of literally chill out but it's very very warm in here that wood burning stove is awesome um oh i've been watching the trump rally have any of you watched the trump rally now don't get all political down in the comments section that's not what this channel is all about but i listened to it and i gotta tell you he had he said some uh interesting things um i listened to it on rumble and I do have a Rumble account, and I'm starting to upload some of my older videos there. But I think I'm going to start uploading stuff there that isn't really suitable for YouTube. You know, YouTube doesn't only want to have certain voices be heard. And, um, you know, conservative voices they don't, they don't want on their platform. And plus, this is a homesteading channel. Um, I don't want you guys to log in and see one of my videos expecting to see something about chickens or homesteading and then, you know, have to be confronted with, you know, politics or whatever kind of issues that sometimes can kind of, you know, get under your skin. So I think I've had a lot on my mind lately about that, and it's been building up, and, you know, how I get through things is I talk about them, and if I just hold it in, and I just keep letting them circle around in my mind, and don't sort them out by actually writing about them or verbalizing, um, then I get super stressed out, so um, I'm going to put a link to my Rumble channel down below and you can go over there and watch the stuff if you want to it's not going to have like homesteady stuff i mean there's a few homesteady stuff on there right now but it's basically going to be reserved for me just kind of analyzing the current state of affairs <laughs> in the united states mainly um so if you're interested in that sort of thing just go join me over there anyhow i just gotta relax i just gotta relax Take a deep breath. Enjoy the beauty of the snow because although it's more work for me, it is kind of pretty. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.